Hey there, this is a video for third grade module two, lesson six. And in this lesson, we're gonna be talking about weight and mass. And we're gonna be um, talking about kilograms and grams. And that's really the big basis uh, thing that third graders are gonna be studying is kilograms and grams. And um, I think we'll do milligrams later, but I'm not sure. But anyway, it's grams and kilograms are the big things. And the whole key with measurement is just learning it through experimenting and experiencing what does a kilogram feel like when you're holding it? What does a gram feel like when you're holding it? And then what are some household objects that weigh about a kilogram? And what are some household objects that weigh about a gram? And then students can just, once they're familiar with these things, uh, instead of like it's us adults, thinking about things in pounds, they're going to start thinking in thing, about things in kilograms, which makes sense because the rest of the world does everything in kilograms and grams, and darn it, we should too. All right, so let's take a look at this. Now, the first thing I notice in the concept development, I'm going to make this video mostly for the teachers, parents, kids. You're probably not going to care too much about this video, but here we go anyway. Uh, when I notice the concept development, it talks about things like a kilogram weight and a kilogram benchmark of bag of beans. So the idea is, do you really need a kilogram weight? No. Um, uh, if you don't know how much a kilogram weighs, it, you know, I hate to say this, but it's about 2.2 pounds, right? So if you need to, get on your bathroom scale, weigh yourself, and then hold an object maybe a bottle of water or something, and, 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 and see if that adds 2.2 pounds to your weight. And if you did, you just found what a kilogram is. Now here's another example of about a kilogram. Um, two of these little bottles of water, this weighs about a kilogram. Uh, the addition of the bottles themselves kind of mess it up a little bit. So maybe if, if you were to dump out a little water from each of these bottles to compensate for the plastic, uh, this is what a kilogram weighs. And if a kid can't hold these in one hand, so perhaps you might want to put these in a, like a plastic grocery bag because that's pretty darn light and, and let them feel what a kilogram feels like, these two bottles. Another way to do it is get a single one liter bottle and of, filled with water. With the exception of that plastic, one liters of water, one liter of water would feel like a kilogram. That's what a kilogram is. Uh, so you don't have to run out to the store and buy a kilogram weight. Make one or go to the store and look for a bag of rice because you can't buy food anymore without it being labeled not only in the English measurement like you and us you know, in America, but also in grams. Look for something that ultimately will weigh a thousand grams or a kilogram. All right. So don't go buying expensive stuff. Let's go cheap here. Um, and then you're just going to weigh some stuff. I'm going to keep going down here. And the idea is if I took this bottle of water, this kilogram, right? This weighs a kilogram. And if I were to break that up into, um, if I were to break that up into 10 smaller cups, you know, little containers, uh, each of those would be 100 kilograms of, uh, I'm sorry, whoa, 100 grams weighing. It would weigh 100 grams. And then I could break that up into 10, and I could break that up into 10. And so the idea would be, um, you can take a weight and then break it up into equal groups, right? In, in a smaller uh, par portions. And I'm going to get all the way down to here so that the point is we're going to see that when you go from one gram, one gram, if you have 10 of them, you now have 10 grams. And if you have 10, 10 grams, you now have 100 grams. And if you have 10, 100 grams, you now have a kilogram. This is just like the place value chart that students are learning or will be learning pretty darn soon. So uh, that's what the beauty of the metric system is, how it parallels our place value system as well. And then down here, really this is easy. They just want us to recognize what the abbreviations stand for. So the idea that KG stands for kilogram, so this would be six kilograms and this 400 G would be 400 
grams. And the idea is students are going to know that 450 grams is less than 6 kilograms because what matters far more than the number is the labels. That kilograms are much bigger. A kilogram is a thousand grams. All right? And that's lesson six.